Good evening, Robert Scribbler with the OBX Wave Report, videoing to the south and east here, looking at Rodanthe Pier as some four to seven foot waves roll in off the North Atlantic Ocean. Uh, we've got the residual of a very powerful swell. Still providing some pretty choppy and uh, large conditions here in the outer banks. But uh, certainly a lot calmer than it has been, calm being a relative term. Uh, we've got some northeasterly winds blowing in the range of about 8 to 15 miles per hour. So much lighter winds today than ever recent days. And you can see here in the road empty, major effects of beach erosion um, up and down the outer banks right now mostly four to seven foot three to seven foot mostly choppy uh some fair conditions uh, down in frisco like i said before northeast winds eight to fifteen miles per hour cold today high around 50 if it got to 50 upper 40s around 50 in most locations some coastal flooding still on the backside of this powerful swell behind a number of storm systems out in the North Atlantic Ocean churning off the water and cloud. Looking at the forecast for tomorrow, three to six foot and choppy north northeast winds, 10 to 20 miles per hour, highs in the lower 50s. Looking rainy tomorrow. And then as we get into Friday, two to five foot and fair to clean with west northwest winds picking up extraordinarily strong in the 20 to 30 mile per hour plus range, possibly even stronger in some locations. Highs in the middle 50s clouds and sun and for Saturday two to three foot and clean to fair with west northwest winds in the six to ten mile per hour range. Highs warming up quite a bit on Saturday getting up to around 60 degrees Fahrenheit and clouds and sunny condition and last of all First Sunday, we're looking at one to three foot and clean to fair conditions with westerly winds blowing eight to 12 miles per hour. Air temperatures in the lower 60s and sunny conditions. All right, so thank you for joining me for this Wednesday, March 27th session on the OBX Wave Report. As we've got some four to seven foot waves here in the outer banks. Things calming down a bit once again on the backside of an extraordinarily powerful swell. Nonetheless, um, still semi threatening conditions with you know cloudy uh, skies and uh, still a relatively large swell coming in here off the North Atlantic Ocean. And as I always do at the end of my wave reports, I'd like to ask you guys to please do everything you can to help protect our coastline from the impacts of climate change driven by fossil fuel burning. Those impacts being rising sea levels, more intense storms, ocean heat waves, and ocean acidification. Um, these rising sea levels and more intense storms provide severe effects our infrastructure amplifying effects to our infrastructure as the climate crisis worsens and the primary solution to the climate crisis being the rapid deployment of clean energy rapidly deployable forms of clean energy being wind water solar and electric vehicles we can do it we can prevent the worst impacts of climate change but um, we really need to get deploy those clean energy solutions to replace fossil fuel burning, which is the primary driver of climate crisis. All right, so thank you for joining me for this session.
discussion of the OBX waiver part on this March 27th. I hope you guys have had a fantastic week. If you all do get in the water, please stay safe and enjoy some good rides.